And a good day all of you. John Henderson here of the Beverage Ramble back again with you. Another Beverage Rambling edition today. We're looking at Down Home Brewing Company's Georgia Hooch IPA. I, I usually pour the beer into the glass before I start the filming, but I already got ahead of myself. It tends to happen. Yes, Mr. P, slow the hell down. Anyway, 6.8% ABV. This is an American IPA style. Sorry to see. A lot of head, a lot of foam. Um, this is a family-owned company here, based here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, a black-owned brewery. Um, there, there's another one here in Georgia, or here in the Atlanta area, I should say. Canoso uh, uh, or Canoso. Forgive me if I'm butchering the name, guys. Let me know if you're watching. Um, of course. There are 60 black-owned breweries here in the United States, so those are two. If you look at so the website, um, I'll throw the website up in there later on when I do my upload the video. But anyway, here's what the IP looks like. And I picked this up at Trader Joe's, so I had to go ahead and try it. You know, I thought it might be something, but, you know, they do... They do have a lot of beers that they will find you will you will be able to find there and at Whole Foods singles, which is a good thing, believe me, a major good thing. Uh, <laughs> um, some other places I've been to, you know, singles are very very hard to come by, very hard to come by. So um, I was at Aldi's today. Uh, from finally going into Aldi's, the one that's not that far where I live here. Um, Right up one, high 140 uh, here in Norcross. I'm in Dunwoody now. Yeah, now I can say Dunwoody. I've been saying Norcross, Atlanta, whatever. But anyhow, uh, went in there and didn't find any singles. But uh, but anyway, getting back to the beer. But uh, yeah, so went to Trader Joe's, found this. You know, saw a lot of things that I've been able to get. A lot of things I've been able to get since I moved up here. Uh, so and I think I paid like. A, Dollar seventy-five, I think a dollar ninety-five for for the can. I believe it was. So um, I did not see it in six packs there. Um, I'm sure it is, in, you know, throughout all every different supermarket. Uh, go onto the website. I'm sure they'll show do a store locator tool uh, of where you can find it. But this is one of three beers that they have. They have a Pomegranate Wheat Ale and a Downright Hazy IPA, which is, I guess, more of a Session IPA, I'm guessing. So, here's what the beer looks like. Very nice looking, as you can see. Beautiful color. Lots of head up top. So. Also, interesting, cool about the website, they're giving you food pairings to have with this beer, which is very important. I've always said this, you know. Pair your foods with the right thing, you know. This would have been paired well with, uh, I could see this with some, some, I want to say, some, I can't say spicy seafood, maybe some, maybe a chicken parm, maybe some spaghetti, but it says pair with lemon pepper wings, that could, that would, that could work. So I just had wings today, so, but anyway. I'm trying to guessing some of the hops that they're using. Um, and uh, throwing out there maybe the usual hops maybe Centennial, Chinook, maybe Mosaic hops. But man, it has a very nice flavor to this. Onto the drink. So six selected hand with our six hand selected hops. Drink this your mouth with citrus flavors. Definitely citrus, definitely that pine. Grapefruit, but more pine than grapefruit I'm getting in this beer, so. You know, there was an article. I'm trying to think what that article. There was an article uh, by some, one, one of the writers, might have been on Vine Pair. And they talked about the, you know, the feel, you know, the view that some uh, 
uh, there was a gentleman, uh, uh, African American, uh, uh, who uh, was talking about his love for beer and craft beers and how the, the craft market is growing, growing, growing within the African American community. Probably the last decade, maybe last two decades, right now. Um, but we've we've seen folks say, "Hey, you know, we can try." You know, sort of letting people know, "Hey, folks, you know, we don't have to try the traditional other stuff that we're so used to. It's okay to open our our, our eyes and and our and our taste buds to different things." That's kind of how I've been, you know, um, kind of starting in 2013. You know. You know, I've had a few IPAs. You know, I've had a few things here and there over the years, but mostly was standard, the standard stuff. You know, the Buds and the Miller Lights and the Yinglings and things like that. Um, but never really, you know, crossed over and doing stuff until like 2013 when I went into this service station in Pritchard um, <laughs> called Two Dragons, and I went in their store and they uh, uh, there was all these different beers, beers that I'd never heard of. And beers that I, you know, I, I never thought I would ever see again, you know, like Old Milwaukee, you know, I didn't start to see that ever again, you know, I don't know the last time it was ever in Mobile, and then slowly started trickling in the Mobile area, but other beers, um, Turbo Dog, you know, this, or, you know, Harpin, all these different beers, Harpin IPA, uh, Harpoon, excuse me, um, the UFO, the, the, the Blue Moon stuff, uh, um, you know, stuff from good people, um, um, from straight to ale, all these different beers that I just like was just blown away seeing for the first time. Like, whoa, what the hell is this? And that's when I began to watch a lot of videos from, from John Sharon to Professor Dave, uh, of course, Ronald J. Terry, Louisiana Beer Reviews, um, uh, let's see, Greg's Beer Reviews, you know. Uh, the Kentucky Beer Review guys, you know, um, all these other different beer channels, whatever, and I, I, I would start watching a lot of these videos and start to learn more and more about IPAs and learn more about all these different styles. So, you know, but then it was an article about, hey, you know, about beers and whatnot, you know, different things, and sort of the rock people, you know, that look like me were trying things like this. So. Uh, I've seen all the shows on, on, on the cooking specials, you know, Garrett Oliver, you know, all these different guys, you know, so, um, talking about beer and love for beer, and I just sort of kind of went with that from that way, that way, and, uh, and seeing the growth of the beer industry now, the last, like I said, two decades, particularly with African American, African Americans being involved in it, it's, it's just an amazing thing to see. Just like with the in the just like with the wine industry, the same thing with spirits. You know, it's just like you know, really cool to see this. You know, like wow. You know? So, um, so get back to this beer here. Um, you know, I'm not gonna make any comparisons to say, um, say Lagunitas IPA or any comparisons to uh, you know Goose Island, um, but this is a really you know. I think this is a good IPA, you know. The flavors are there. I'm, uh, the hops, as I'm mentioning, I'm guessing Centennial. I'm guessing Ch uh, Chinook. Uh, Cascade hops. Um, one, probably those of, of the six they, they selected to make this beer. So, um, overall, I think this is a really, really good IPA. Um, and again, I'm wishing the company much success all the way through. And hopefully, um, whenever they start doing tours again, uh, I know some places they have done, and I've been to a few, maybe one, one or two places I've been to since I've been here to go get get uh, one of the um, group beer gardens, whatever, and had a few beers inside there. You know, at the facilities now that we're getting out of the pandemic slowly. And uh, so hopefully I'll get to do a tour of, of this facility and maybe meet the guys head on. Again, this is a family-owned run company uh, by these guys and uh, um, they, and uh, by these three men. And uh, it seems, let me see, who they are. They're uh, Chris Reeves, uh, William um, um, Moore. Uh, those are the guys that are involved. Um, and um, hopefully one day I'll get to meet them. 
and get to shake their hand, talk with them, you know, just talk beer or whatever. So, yeah, talk life and talk beer over a beer. Yeah. But um, overall, I think this is a really good IPA. So I'm going to go with that same good score. I'm going to go B+. Plus. I think that's fair. Um, so that'll be 8.6 for the Down Home Brewing Company's Georgia Hooch IPA. Brewed here in Atlanta. Check it out. You like it. Sean Anderson, Pierre, the Beverage Rambleton. Keep on watching. As always, cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Hooch, 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 hooch